Okay, so hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will have a build review of this very large quadcopter. <laughs> no, actually it's the, the Diatone Innovations, the DTI 150 quadcopter. So that's 150 millimeters from motor to motor, which we see here completely built up as an FPV enabled quadcopter. Uh, first, just look at how small that is. So it almost fits into my hand. Uh, so this is, this is really, really nice. <clears throat> we will quickly go through the components which we used here. Uh, as motors, you can see here that this 1306 motors with 3100 kV. As props, we used some Gamfan props, uh, actually uh, four inch props, four times uh, four do, dot five inch uh, props, the 445s, which we cut down uh, to fit this quadcopter. This gives it plenty of thrust. For uh, ESCs, you can see here, we used the small this SN20A ESCs. These work fine. Then we have here a CC3D as a flight controller, and below that you may be able to see it here. We use the PDP which came with the frame, so it's the diatom uh, PDP, and uh, we used some electronic tape here to isolate it from the uh, from the bottom plate. Additionally, for FPV, we use this very small uh, FPV camera. I got it from Surveil Zone. So I will uh, post a complete parts list of the parts which I used in the video description. And then we have here a 200 milliwatt uh, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter, video transmitter. Mm -hmm. This is the one from EA Shine, which I will also uh, post a link to in the video description. Additionally, we see here this very small receiver. That's one of the new Orange C micro receivers, which I will link in the uh, video description as well. So this is the, the complete setup. Uh, as far as the parts go and what is really amazing I want to show it to you here is the actual weight of this complete setup so for the uh, quadcopter itself without the battery but completely set up as an FPV copter we have here a weight of 151 grams which is really nice uh, of course, there are some things where we might be able to, to save a few grams, which are we could use one of these four in one ESCs, we could use a smaller antenna, a more lightweight antenna, but other than that, it's really pretty lightweight already. And when we add a, a battery, so that's a 0.95 ampere battery to it. It's a two cell battery. Uh, it's not very fast with a two cell battery, but it's flyable with the two cell battery. If we add that to it, we have a weight of 197 grams. And then, now it gets really interesting, if we add a full HD recording camera, such as this run cam to it, we arrive at a weight of below 250 grams. That's 242 grams for a completely fully FPV enabled quadcopter, which is able to record full HD. So this is very nice. This is also very nice because with such a lightweight back hatch, there is a really low risk that you might uh, damage something if this ever 
uh, should, uh, if you should ever crash with it. Uh, this of course includes the quadcopter itself. So this is very nice. So what will we do next? The next thing which we do will of course be a maiden flight, which we will do next. And well, I can't wait to try this out. And uh, well, if you also can't wait to try this out, please stay tuned. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. This would be really great. And well, see you next time.